I don't know if it's you, but um, I found a great pleasure in um, making Emacs do things that um, aren't really text editing related, like um, graphics. I've uh, already looked for things to do that haven't been really done yet, like um, networking, uh, such as making torrent clients or doing audio stuff, but um, I've settled on graphics because that's the easiest of them and because it has been some research, but not really much of it. And um, as you maybe know, you can actually insert text um, and properties to it that tell that um, it is it is associated with an image and to then make the display engine um, display it. So um, I've done this three times already for three different games using uh, three different types of um, image types. And uh, yeah, the first is a demonstration of the classical Conway game of life. So um, I learned the code here and oh, yeah. do this, then uh, I have a demonstration of Conway's game of life. So um, yeah, there isn't really that much to say about this, except that I can also um, load other figures or have a glider going on. And uh, yeah, this is done with the monochrome type in Emacs, uh, where you just um, have, have an XBM graphic and uh, can toggle bits. And this is what I'm doing with the timer. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this is done periodically and it only reacts to uh, input events. And that's pretty much the most basic thing you can do in Emacs. But um, I thought that kind of thing isn't really enough, so um, I did take a further step and went for a game that's a bit more popular at the moment, namely uh, 2048. Oh, wow. So we go for the same thing here. anti value 2048, which is a clone of the very well-known 2048 game. It doesn't have any animations, but um, it uses SVG to just insert yeah, a full board with the tiles on it. I've added a bit of game logic, and otherwise it behaves just like the same. It's a bit confusing because you can't really see uh, how the pieces slide together, but I intend to fix that once I figure out how to do um, transitions properly. And so, yeah, this is very fast. I could probably uh, put it at 60 FPS, but I couldn't figure out anything really interesting to do for that. So. Um, I went for a third demonstration in the meanwhile, which is a classic Tetris. And this Tetris is actually quite 60 FPS. And so that thing put me for um, some challenges, I'd say. So, um, yeah, for the, wait, yeah, for the basic gameplay, you can see here an NES Tetris with a piece moving down and everything like that. It's a response to events. And uh, yeah, I've had to build quite a few things to make it happen. I would, I would explain these in a um, hangout with Sasha Kua. And yeah, there's quite a lot to say about the technical things because as you might have already imagined, Emacs is quite not up to par for that. Uh -huh. oh, oh, you can't actually see it. Um, well, I can see it on, on the GC previous, so I don't, know, I don't know what's going on, seriously. But um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the screen okay. froze a bit. Oh, we see it now. Okay. I'm not sure it's frozen, maybe because I don't have enough upload. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, but Holy anyways. Yeah. I don't so, um, do you have any? Um, yeah. I, I don't know if you can see in the audience, but everyone's jaws just hit the floor. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> Well, it doesn't have any actual game features yet, like, um, as, I mean, beyond rotation and everything. So, um, lines aren't cleared yet, but I intend to fix this because the most stumbling blocks are already have been cleared. So, <laughs> yeah, so um, any further questions about this before I go into actual detail tomorrow? Uh, yeah, we have some questions. Pause. Yeah. What's yeah. the difference between this and the built-in Tetris? So, the question was, what's the difference between this and the built-in Tetris? This is big maps. No text at all. And this place at 60 FPS, actually. I can, in, I can implement animations and, yeah, I can do a lot of things the original can't yet, like actually making a play like a real Tetris, because the original has, for someone like me, an enthusiast of the game, uh, quite a few differences, like, um, 
you don't even have soft drop units or, um, or blocks in immediately, and that is quite weird for me. So um, I thought I'd, I'd reinvent it someday, and this happened that day. Cool. Uh, awesome. This is really cool. Other questions? I'm switch my Emacs Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> Other questions in the audience? Uh, this is really, really cool. Let me check IRC if there's anything there. Um. Uh, but don't expect any shooters or anything like that because um, I need to get quite a bit more creative for this. Yeah, so on IRC, Mbork wants to know if you'll be working on a Mario clone. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, but it's a lot more effort because you have to create worlds and more logic and Elis is quite, I don't know, it feels very verbose to me and like JavaScript basically. And there's a nice blog post from Steve Yeager about it, how, how verbose JavaScript is, but how it has grown beyond its roots while Emacs hasn't. <laughs> and um, yeah, so he's expecting that the browser will someday eat up Emacs and solve this problem. It's been like a couple of years since that post. Um, but yeah, uh, any other questions? This is really cool. Um, thanks for like giving this talk.